I run Pāte Manawa Retreats, which is a kaupapa Māori healing and leadership retreat for our people and other indigenous peoples. Tāte Manawa is about, it has two main purposes. One of them is just about supporting my people in positions of leadership where people are doing something about things they're passionate about, serving our communities. And what I find happens with those people is they, there's so much work to do and with the nature of the world and the problems we have that they tend to get overstretched and sometimes a bit burnt out. So this is my way of looking after those people, helping them to recharge their, their batteries and reconnect and look after their own well-being. Um, I've been blessed in the last two days with the company of Whare Manaki, who are a Māori social service provider community centre in Mafera. This was an opportunity for them to have some team building, to have some time out and some nourishment in their busy lives. Tāte Manawa Retreat has enabled me to uh, look within, to think about what I need to learn and grow. So just carving out a, a space and a time to yeah, look within and to um, connect with Te Ao Māori, with Te Tai Ao, um, and to bond with others in the group. Yeah. The activities that I facilitate are around connection. So it's about connection with yourself, your emotions, your inner child, with your wairua, your ngākau. Um, it's about connecting with others and it works really in a lovely way when we're working with a team, a particular organisation. It's also a real, the processes are, are rooted in Te Ao Māori, so it's a very Māori way of exploring our spirituality, our purpose in life, our, our well-being, our connection to each other and within ourselves. I decided to come on this retreat for the team building side of it to get to know my co-workers better. Gain some healing, personal healing, self-healing out of it that I never expected. So walking through the Ngahiri down to Tangaroa this morning, bare feet, slowly, intently, in silence, it oh, just took me, took me away. Yeah, to another place and then I soon forgot about the pain I was feeling in my feet. I think it's given me permission to concentrate on my own well-being. You know, that I need to be spending more time on myself um, in order to be able to, you know, help other people in the community, you know, which is the extent of my mahi. With the Puta Itanga support, I've been able to invest in the kaupapa and make this wonderful promo video. I've been able to get this taonga commissioned and carved and I've also been able to run the retreats as I get used to the budgeting and management side of things with a bit of financial backing behind me. Even, even in the process of applying for the funding, Te Puta Itanga have been really wonderful at supporting us, making it an easier process. I know for some people that's quite a challenge, trying to project into the future what your kaupapa might look like and might need and all those things and budgeting. So Te Puta Itanga from the word go have been supportive even before we have been successful. <laughs>